Oh my God, I don't know how I had the balls to do this. Ooh. We had a little shindig, that's all I'm gonna say. I can't say anything else. <laughs> what the? What is this music? I think I got the bananas from Hector's house. New Year's, Christmas, and Vegas. That sounds like a blend. What's going on everybody here on the Scuff channel? I'm gonna be reacting to some of my, uh, my favorite clips from my, from my life. So let's get into it. Oh my God, I don't know how I had the balls to do this. Me now? Compared to me then is insane, because I would not do this. I would need a couple drinks. <laughs> All right, so some context behind that clip. Uh, I was still in elementary school. Uh, that was my elementary school, Hampton. And I think that I got dared by a bunch of my friends to go up there and do a song. And the rest was kind of history. Uh, I, I really got into it. I didn't really know that I had that in me. But uh, yeah, I did it. And now you guys have all shared that with me. So that's great. The Break the Internet series, you did actually post two episodes. Is that going to come back now you've got a bit more time on your hands? Um, so I don't know. It all depends how much footage my mom has. I don't know how much more she has from my childhood. I, oh, I, if she has the play that I did, I did Grease when I was in, uh, when I was a little kid. And I was Danny. And <laughs> a redheaded Danny. Um, but I killed that shit. I mean, if they got, if she has that clip, that would be, that'd be money. Oh my god. This was, Hector says, so I don't think I'm very creative. Hector says that I'm creative. <laughs> this, was, this was right before oh, I became happened? unjacked. I heard things were getting a little bit bananas over here. Federal agent. <laughs> oh, hey, just, just what I thought. <laughs> you gotta send them to me right now. Uh, I was so proud of myself. I'm the most creative person on I this earth. I just said I'm the most creative it's not person close. on this earth. Yeah, so that clip, uh, we were on our way to, uh, I think, Ian, uh, Crim Six's house for Halloween. Uh, he was having a little Halloween party, and I told Hector, we got to stop by Party City. I had the whole outfit in mind, and uh, they had everything I needed. So I, I walked in there knowing exactly what I wanted to be, and they had it. And then I think we stopped. I think I got the bananas from Hector's house. Bring this shit to me oh because my I'm the main God. We were. I'm coming out of girls that are ratchet. I'll hit them with a hatchet. I'm getting evil with this shit. Crim six on my team. Crim six, he's mean. Anything for anything on that one? Do you still rap? No. Never. I don't. People always want me to, but I don't. I had a little phase, and like you know, I kind of grew out. I don't know. I don't really rap anymore. But people always ask me to. I might have to bring it back. I don't know. Um, when people ask you what your son does, what oh is your gosh. response? And I respond. She talks me up so highly. It's so annoying. Like, you know, well, another question that somebody's asked me, and I don't remember who, was like, are you a proud mom? And I don't know what. A very proud mom. Of I don't know when this son. was. Uh, he just happened to take a much different route. And I took the road less traveled. It was I less, did take the road less traveled. I in the road. I took the one less traveled. It is less traveled. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I say he plays video games for a living. But I really think... I mean, that's what you do, and that's, but that's what created your streaming, and that's what created your YouTube channel. So you do all of those things, um, but I think probably your favorite thing to do is to compete. You she knows me that? well, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was coffee time with Mama Scump. Um, yeah, it was a series long ago. Those episodes would probably be very different now. Um, but yeah, those were always great. Uh, people were always very... Uh, they just wanted some more behind the scenes from a parent's point of view, and we actually started that to try to get kids' parents that were on the, on the fence about letting their kid go and compete a little more insight and just uh, letting them know that it is a safe space and they're not going to get kidnapped. Like my mom thought I was going to get, she thought I was going to get kidnapped at the first event that I won. So thankfully I didn't, and thankfully I won. There's a, you just said a really good line that you did take the road less traveled, which you know you and amongst other creators at the start genuinely blazed a trail for an industry that didn't exist. Yeah. Do you have any advice for people? Uh, advice 
for people that want to, to try to get into content creation, pro gaming, anything, I mean, consistency is key, persistence is key. Um, there's going to be times where your views are down or your videos aren't doing so well or stuff like that, but you can't, you can't let that you know, alter your mindset. You've got to be relentless. Uh, if you really want it, you got to go out. you got to take it. It's not going to be given to you. Uh, I mean, stuff that's all been said before, probably that people have heard before, but it really is true because in esports, there's always someone that's you know grinding. So you gotta you gotta grind. You gotta to make your mark on the scene, and I mean that's really the only way to do it. So go out there, be you, uh, do your best, and have fun with it. At the, the most important thing is have fun with it because people will know if you're not having fun with it. Don't be fake. <laughs> what the? What is this music? Me and Kirsch in the gym, throwing around big weights. I was in the gym in my pajamas. I wish I had this confidence still. I'm so weak from New Year's and Christmas and Vegas. <laughs> I, said, I said I'm so weak from New Year's, Christmas, and Vegas. That sounds like a blend. I mean, that sounds like three weeks at least of just debauchery. So I, I, can, I can imagine that was weak. But yeah, I got to get back in the gym. I said I was going to get back in the gym um, now that I'm not competing because I was wor always worried about calluses, like lifting, doing deadlifts and, you know, lap pull downs and stuff that rips your hands. So I was always worried uh, that that would affect my gameplay. And I think that it did, but now I don't care. So I might get back in the gym. All right, guys. This is my first look at the new Optic Scuff. Ooh. I love it. Take a look at that. We got the nature tones in there. That's a very new direction. I mean, it kind of takes me back to like the Huntsman days, like out in the wilderness. I love nature. I love the controller. I don't really like being in nature, but I love the thought of nature. If that, if that is any consolation. Nah, but this is dope. Dope controller. If there was like a wolf right here howling, it would be like a 900 out of 10. But I love it. Last but certainly not least. Did you already get one of those sets? Break the internet V2. I mean, it's a great clip. Mom, you're welcome, bud. You give me two of these big guys. Yep. I actually visited this townhouse when I went home for Christmas uh, this Christmas, we went back and we took a picture in front of it. Yeah, we, I got the, I, I finally went back because it, it's only like a minute from where we live now when I go home. So I was like, we got to go back. I had a couple drinks and I was like feeling a little sentimental. I was like, we got to go back. My fiance was with me. She hadn't seen it. I was like, we got to go. We went there. But yeah, iconic clip. Uh, just a kid on Christmas, man. You know, who would have knew? Who would have thought? Not me. For a bit of context on that, obviously from a young age, your mum always had the video camera, capturing your family memories and so on. Do you think having the camera in front of your face in early age helped you in your own content creation? I don't think that this had anything to do with it. Uh, I think that the first Optic House had most, most to do with it because that's when I got really comfortable on camera. Maybe a little too comfortable on camera. Do you remember any of the presents from that day specifically? Uh, well, I got a Stormtrooper. Uh, I got a dinosaur book, um, which I was hyped about. <laughs> is that one of them? Yeah. This is literally it. Is this the actual one? You got this from my mom. No, we bought it on the internet. We oh, I was going to, I was going to say like, there's no, there's, first of all, there's no way she still has it. Second of all, hell yeah. Takes me back. I'm actually, can I have this? Of course you I'll put this you. in my stream room. Hell yeah. That's a, that's a good little memento. For, for a day of, of scuff shooting, I get, a, I get a Darth Vader stand up doll. It's great. Sweet, thank you guys. No worries. Actually, thank oh. you. That's dope. I'm gonna put that in my stream room. <laughs>